hello guys welcome once again to another tutorial session on my youtube channel in today's video i am going to show you how you can install python packages using anaconda in order for you to follow this tutorial you need to make sure you have anaconda installed on your system anaconda can be run in windows linux and mac os if you are using linux I have a video tutorial that will show you how to install Anaconda in a Linux environment. So you can check that out. Link is in the description box. I am going to demonstrate this activity by installing these five packages. NumPy, Pandas, SciPy, Matplotlib, and then scikit-learn. Now let's begin. We will first open our terminal. Then we continue. Installation of tools and packages are done in environments when we are using Anaconda. Therefore, the first thing we will do is to create an environment and install Python. Let me show you how. We say conda creates the stain. Then we indicate the environment's name. We say Python. Then we indicate the software we want to install, which is also Python. So this first code here will create the environment. And this here specifies the software, in this case, Python. Now, Anaconda also makes it possible for you to install specific versions of a software. So we are going to install a specific Python software version, which is 3.7.5. To add a version, we say equals then we indicate the version number, which is 3.7.5. Then we execute. We will be asked to confirm. So we say Y for yes. Then we wait for installation to complete. All other dependencies will automatically be installed for us. Now installation is complete. And that's why we have this message appearing. Let me clear the screen first. Now that we have the environment created and let's confirm the environment has been created by listing them so we say conda env list this will list the environments on your system so notice we have python there and this is the path that we have okay the base environment comes packaged with Anaconda, so you don't have to worry much. So now let's activate the environment. We say Conda activates. Then we indicate the environment's name, in this case, Python. After activation, the environment's name comes on the prompt this side that shows the environment has been activated when an environment is activated you have access to the tools and software installed within that environment so now let's test python we say python so it's successful notice we specify the version and that is exactly what Anaconda has done for us.
Now we proceed. Let's quit the Python prompt. The next thing to do is to install pip. So we see conda install pip. We do that whilst the environment has been activated. If the environment has not been activated, there's a way to do it, but that will be for future videos. So for now, let's do with what we have now. So we execute it. Okay, so this message here tells us all requested packages are already installed. This means that pip is already installed in our environment. But initially we did not include pip. We only installed Python. So this means that probably as Python was being installed, pip was also installed automatically. But we can check this out. Let's confirm. Let's access the directory where the software is installed. Let me clear the screen first. We need to make sure we have the path to the environment. So we list it again. We say quanda env list. So this is the path. Now tools are installed in the path displayed slash bin, B-I-N. So we are going to list the content of the bin directory in this path. I am using Linux, so I'll use the ls command. I'll say ls slash home slash student2 slash dot conda slash env slash python slash bin. It will list the tools installed in that environment. When we check it out, we see that pip has been installed for us here. So that is why we had that message earlier. The next thing now is to install the Python packages. We will use pip to install it. So this is how we do it. We are going to use two approaches. The first one, we just call pip and install by listing the tools. And the second approach, we list all the packages we want installed in a text file and push that to pip. Let's do the first one first. We will install specific versions of the packages I listed. To install a package with pip, you say pip install. Then you indicate the package. Let's say numpy. We are going to install specific versions just to test the installation. So with numpy, we are going to install version 1.18. So to include a version, we say equals equals 1.18. You can install more than one package with this particular command. So let's add another package. We add pandas. You see, pandas. We are going to install specific version which is 1.1.3 so equals equals 1.1.3 now we are installing just two of them we install the rest later on so let's install these two now So the two packages have been installed. Please note that sometimes you might have the packages already there. So when it's like that, you have such statements occurring. 
that requirement already satisfied. So don't worry about it. Now let me clear the screen. Now what we did was one way of installing the packages using pip, where we specify everything in just one line. But there will be situations where you would want to install several tools or several packages. And therefore, to make it more convenient, pip allows you to place all of those names in a text file and then just pass the text file to it. So that's what we are going to do with the third packages, the third, fourth, and fifth packages that we have. That is SciPy, Matplotlib, and then scikit-lin. So let's do that. So we are going to just create a text file and then place all of them there. I am using Nano, but you can use any text editor as well. And just make sure you know the parts that you have your files. So we say Nano. Let's use this one. Requirements. Dot txt. We are going to place the list there. So let me paste them there. These are the versions we are going to install. Let me add this for. So that is done. So we exit this text editor. Okay, let's just display the text editor again. The text file again, just to know the list. Yeah, so this is my list of files, sorry, my list of libraries I want to install. So to install using this particular way, you say pip install dash r. Then we indicate the text file that has the list. So we say requirements dot txt. Then we install. So installation will be done with those specific versions that we specified. You should also note that if you specify versions of packages, then people install those packages. And if there were earlier versions or there were some other versions there, then it will remove them and then install what you have specified. So take note of that. Now we have everything done for us. Everything has been installed for us. So we are good to go. Let me clear the screen first. We are now going to test that the installation of the packages was successful. To do that, I have written a simple script to do the testing. So the testing will just display the versions of the libraries we have installed. So let me show you that particular script. It's also here, I called it tests.py. So 
So it is a simple script that will import those libraries and then print the versions for us. Okay, so you can easily copy this and also test. Now let's go back. So what we do is to run this particular script. So we say Python tests.py. Okay, so there we have it. It has imported the libraries and then displayed the versions of tools that we asked it to install. So we had what we wanted exactly. These are the versions that I displayed earlier and it is exactly what papers installed for us. So using Anaconda, we're able to install tools with ease and also able to be flexible enough to install specific versions of tools and softwares and packages for you as well. So you can try and use that for your activities. So this is where I bring my tutorial to an end. And I'll say thank you for watching and see you in the next session. Goodbye.